गाइस दिस इज सुषमिता एंड यूर वॉचिंग मी ऑन सुषमिता इज नोट बुक टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शूट द वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो फॉर माई चैनल एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू रिव्यू सिसीलिया अर्न लाइव वर्ड दिस बुक केम अप इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट दिस बुक स्टे ट्यून so this book the lyre bird by cecilia ahern is uh, about the bird lyre bird if you do not know what lyre bird is it's an australian bird and it has an amazing talent of mimicking different kinds of sounds so this novel which was published in 2016 was very not too long ago so when i came across this book uh, it was really interesting the cover of the book is very interesting as you can see this book has uh, a golden you aware uh, it's written lyre bird and the cover is also very interesting it's blue in color so this book has four characters they are the major characters solomon bo uh laura and joe and tom tom and joe are the twin brothers who are uh, who happens to meet bo in uh, in their journey and bo shoots a documentary on their life and that's how uh, she names it uh, tulin twins the tulin twins documentary uh, became a huge success and that's how bo came to chase her dreams even further so now laura coming back to laura laura is a character who is very interesting very poetic and very magical we sheldon doesn't come across these kind of characters in our daily life so laura happens to be discovered by solomon in a nearby cottage and she is a mysterious girl she is a young girl who has no connection with the outside world whatsoever she has been secluded from this outside world forever now bo who is a headstrong girl she is a very career dri career driven woman she wants to shoot the life of laura in uh, in her documentary and at, at this journey she faces um, very objection too much of objections from solomon uh, because he doesn't want laura to be featured in her documentary on the other hand uh, bo leaves no stone unturned to feature her and make it a huge success so now there is another angle to this story as well uh, bo and solomon happens to be in a relationship and bo uh, to make her documentary a huge success she uh, confronts solomon to uh, you know take into account laura's you know permission to feature in her documentary so solomon is very um, introvert he doesn't want to uh, mingle with laura in that sense so now um, the novel uh, for me it was not too intriguing it in the midway it loses its uh, its mystery uh it becomes too predictable because as a reader i didn't find uh, the mystery that is intriguing me or it's engaging me further so this uh, book i have finished it in almost 7 days so um, it um it's it was uh, in the midway from the midway it was not very interesting so for me i can give it a 3 out of 5 as a as a reader it's for you to buy it and understand what actually uh, the conclusion is of this novel so the novel doesn't give us much of uh, anything because it gives too much of exaggeration of laura's mimicking potential and we come to know about lyrebird through this book because many of us didn't knew about what lyrebird is and uh, after reading this book i came to know about lyrebird which is an australian bird and laura who has this special trait is over exaggerated in this novel because uh, the writer has uh, featured laura in that sense so as a reader i can say that this is not too good not too bad it's an okay kind of a read for me as a reader i didn't anticipate any thrill whatsoever so i can say it's a very predictable novel and cecilia arn has done um, very good uh, work earlier as well because i have read some of her novels earlier so if you want to know about uh, other novels of cecilia arn then stay tuned i'll be reviewing about them to uh, too 
so guys if you like my video please like share comment and do not forget to subscribe to shmita's notebook so if you want to know further about new books that are coming up uh, and uh, for readers especially if you want to read and know about books by different authors please write to me so that i can review it for you and stay tuned for further updates thank you Thank you.